everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. Today, I'm making you a zombie unicorn. Now, when I sat down to figure out what I was gonna sculpt this week, I really didn't wanna make something predictable and expected. I just finished the big Krampus and Winter Warlock sculptures. I didn't wanna follow them up with something regular. So, I decided to do this zombie unicorn. And believe it or not, this is actually a subscriber suggestion. I've had this one subscriber for a few years now and on pretty much every single video, she has requested a zombie unicorn. I would shout her out right now, but I'm not really sure if she wants me to, but you know who you are. Here is the zombie unicorn. It turns out really cool, actually. I wasn't expecting to like it as much, and I really wasn't expecting to enjoy the process as much as I did, but I was pleasantly surprised. Be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Ace of Clay. I've got some brand new merch for the holiday season. This is the classic design. It's available right now for a limited time only. Link is in the description box below. And now, without further ado, let's start the zombie unicorn. Hi, welcome to a new video. We're actually doing this. We're actually going to make a zombie unicorn. So I've got my wooden plaque here. This was made for me by Max in the UK. It's a nice square plaque, a little different than the round ones we've been using. And I've got my two holes drilled into it. And I'm gonna start by shaping out uh, just a basic horse armature, whatever that means. So let's just dive in head first and get this basic structure figured out. I printed out this um, stock photo of a horse like clip art, it's kind of, you know. I like it because it's not perfectly anatomically correct. It's a little, you know, exaggerated. The head's bigger than it should be and all that. So what I'm going to do is put my wire on top of that and then just follow where I drew the lines for where I want the armature. Right, I'm gonna come back around, sort of just mirror that. Just sit around a couple times. Now that we've got this figured out, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some ultralight to bulk out some of the bigger areas. All right, there we go, we've got the basic structure figured out. I'm gonna go ahead, bake this, and then we'll come back and start adding our clay. All right, now that he's baked, I'm going ahead and just building up that muscle structure, trying to get the shape figured out, and then from there, we can do the fun stuff. But this is the most important part to make this look like a legitimate unicorn or horse.
I have brand new holiday merch and it's available right now for a limited time only. This brand new design right here that I'm wearing on a premium red t-shirt is available in multiple colors and styles. We've got mugs, hoodies, tank tops, and more. It features some of my favorite characters that I've sculpted throughout the years. We've got Medusa, Pretzel the Clown, the Orc Warrior, Plague Doctor, Ice Cream Man, and more. And they're all decked out in their holiday gear. But if the holiday gear isn't your vibe, I've got a classic version of the same design, just minus the holiday stuff. I really hope you love this new design. If you wanna get your hands on this merch, it is available for a limited time only. Click the link in the description box below and get it before it's gone. Now let's make some ribs. Okay, now before we make those ribs, let's take a second to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Is there something interfering with your happiness or getting in the way of you achieving your goals? I've been here before, I know a lot of us have, and I know the importance of mental health, especially when it comes to being a content creator and making something brand new every week. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your very own licensed professional therapist, and you can start communicating within 48 hours. It is not a crisis line, it is not self-help, it is licensed 
professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 counselor network, which may not be locally available in many areas. This service is available worldwide. You can log in at any time to send a message to your counselor. You will get timely and thoughtful responses, and you can even schedule weekly video or phone sessions. You won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to live a happier life starting today. Visit betterhelp.com slash aceofclay, that's better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Now, because you're an Ace of Clay subscriber or you're just watching this video, you can save 10% on your first month of BetterHelp by going to betterhelp.com slash aceofclay. Now let's get back to the video. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-bake these on your sides like this, with a little bit of a curve, and we'll be right back. All right, now let's go ahead and make the mane and the tail. I'm gonna use some cosplay for this just so it stays flexible after it's baked.
All right, now for the last step, I wanna brush on some clay softener to remove fingerprints and smooth out some areas, and then we'll throw them in the oven. All right, we're back and we're ready to paint. Look, I cleaned out my paintbrush bucket thing. I threw out all the ones that I never use and now these are all new except for a couple used ones because every once in a while you need a crappy brush. But, all right, anyway, let's start painting. I'm gonna start by doing a white coat on everything and then we're going to just go in and do the details. And then of course, all the paints that I'll be using are Folk Art brand matte acrylics. Matte acrylics, very important. All right, now let's give it a nice pearly top coat to really finish it off. Use a little bit of this Color Shift Purple Flash. I'm actually just gonna add this to random areas. I'm not gonna brush the whole thing with it. I just wanna sort of concentrate it here and there. So I got this Dragonfly Glaze. This is just a sparkly top coat type situation, so I'm gonna use the violet blue green shift. And then we're just gonna brush this over the whole surface. Give her a nice unicorny touch. <sighs> wow, look at that. Can you see it on camera even? Use a little bit of glitter if it just to Heighten the glitter aspect in certain areas like the tail and the mane.
And it's done! My zombie unicorn sculpture is complete. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I was not expecting to like this thing that much, and I think it turned out really cool. I like the creepy, you know, glitter all over the place. It's this gross, rotting zombie animal, but it's got glitter all over it. I think that's kind of a cool touch. And I'm just really happy with how he turned out. It was so out of my comfort zone, it's not even funny. And there is nothing more gratifying than making a sculpture that you like that is outside of your comfort zone. This is the prime example of that. A horse or unicorn, the whole basic horse shape is something I never, wanted to sculpt ever so now i just feel way more confident and i'm really excited about it and and then i did put some of that dragonfly glaze on the base here but i think i'm just gonna paint that over black because i don't really like how it looks so in the final shots it was black that's why so anyway thank you so much for watching and being here be sure to like comment and subscribe follow me on facebook instagram and twitter at ace of clay if you want me to make something just comment on a bunch of my videos as many times as you want and maybe one day i'll make it just like this thing and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching